Welcome to the ExcelLearningZone.com tip of the week. In today's tip, I'm going to show you how to take a list of dates and pull the month out of the date and then convert that month over into an English month like January or September. This is a common question I get asked all the time. I've got a list of dates, let's say um, just a bunch of birth dates here. I'll type in a couple and then I'll just autofill down. Excel will see a pattern there, but that's no big deal. All right, I got a bunch of random dates in here, kind of. And we can use the month function to pull out the month. So equals month of that cell, and then press enter. And there's a number representing that month. And if I autofill this down, you'll see all the months are correct. So now we've got the month. Now, unfortunately, Excel does not have a built-in function to actually convert 10 here into October. But we can do that by making a little lookup table. So I just come over here, this is cell F1, and I'll type in 1 and then 2, and then I can autofill that down because Excel should see the pattern. Bring that all the way out to 12. And then right next door to that, I'll put January or whatever format you want your months in. Click and then drag that down. And Excel knows all the months if you do an autofill like that, but it doesn't have a function to pull that up. So we're going to have to make that real quick. Now, I'm going to highlight this. And just to set it off, I'm going to put a little border around it, make it yellow. Nothing fancy. All right, now I'm going to highlight this again. And I'm going to turn this into something called a named range. You can actually take individual cells or whole ranges of cells and give them names to make them easier to refer to. Instead of having to call this F1 through G12, I'm going to come up here in this little name box and type in my month list. All right, and then press Enter. Okay, now I've just created a box right here called month list, and I can use that in my formulas and calculations. All right, now I'm going to use the VLOOKUP function, VLOOKUP, and I've got another free tutorial that teaches you a lot more about the VLOOKUP function, but you can use it for all kinds of things, for looking up values in a list. The first thing is what value do you want to look up? Well, it's right there. I want to look up that one, comma, your table array. What is the table array? Well, that's the little lookup list that we just made. All right, that's my month list. I just created it. Comma, col index num is what column of that little table do you want to display? Well, the second column has the name of my month in it. All right, so it's B1, comma, month list, comma, two. Close my parentheses up and press enter. And there's January. I can then click and drag this down. And now using the month function for this number, and then my VLOOKUP table for the name, I now can quickly pull up the name of whatever date I want, the month. That's it for this week's free tip. There are lots more free tips on my website at ExcelLearningZone.com. Feel free to stop by and check them out. We also have lots of free tips from different subjects like Microsoft Word and Access and Web Design and Photoshop and lots more. Attention YouTube viewers, if you're watching this tutorial on YouTube, you can go to my website and watch my full Microsoft Excel one hour long course, but you have to go to this special link. It's excellearningzone.com slash YouTube, and on there you'll see the link to download my free Excel 101 class.